Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use your WordPress visual editor that pretty much lets you add, um, add italic, bold, headings, kind of pretty much modify the text uh, of your WordPress postings. All right. So here's what you want to do: go to your admin panel, go to your posting that you want to do. So I'm going to use the same test post I've been using on all these beginning videos. Here's my test post here. Now here's what the visual editor is. Once this thing loads up, your visual editor is basically, I'm referring to that exact phrase because it refers to this button here. See how it says visual? Well your visual editor means these buttons are buttons that you can add into or that you can modify your text with without having to know HTML. If you're if you don't see these buttons, then you have to then you're then you're likely on the tab that says HTML. So click on the tab that says visual. Now also you may not be seeing two rows so if you're seeing one row see this button here show and hide when you hover over it kitchen sink make sure this button is clicked alright what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go I'm gonna go over what all these buttons are and uh, how they how they affect your content here uh, there are, so before I begin though there's some buttons like these buttons here these are all extra plugins this is, these are all real estate tools like local Trulia tools, Altos tools Google Map tools and, and mortgage tools from Zillow and then of course this is schools and uh, business inf information from Yelp these are on a separate video tutorial where I go massively in depth in those and how to use those um, same thing with this one here this is to embed Twitter tweets I have a separate video tutorial showing you how to do that one so check that one out and then this one here this is your spell check one but this is simple I'll go over this one at the end or with along with this so let's just kinda jump in Here's the key things you need to understand, the main color items and the main things you need to know. The first one is how do you make a link? All right? This is the big question. How do you make a link? So let's say you want to make this text link to Google. I'm just using it as the example. Well, what you want to do is you need to highlight the text you want to make a link. After you highlight the text, you'll see these buttons here. See this one here that's a closed chain? It says insert edit link. Click on that button and now all you gotta do is enter the URL that you want to have linked and then see where it says target if you had this is where you could have if someone opens in the same window or in a new win or in the in the in a new window meaning have you ever clicked on a website link when someone clicks on it it opens a whole new browser window what you want to do is click on open link in new window only if this link leaves your website so I'm linking to google.com so I'm going to open in a new window title this refers to what's the text that someone sees when they hover over your link so let's just say search for tips I'm just making that up and now when you click insert you'll notice when I hover over it see how it says search for tips and now this text is a link alright now to unlink it it's pretty easy you just click on the link anywhere and then I'll see this button that says unlink all you gotta do is hit unlink if you want it to unlink alright so I'm not going to unlink it just for this tutorial, so just keep it like that. It's pretty straightforward. Now these other buttons, bold, italic, ABC, these are straightforward. If you want to make text bold, then you just highlight over it, click on bold. If you want to make text italic, let's say you want to make this, you highlight over it, click on ital italic, and let's say you want to have the text with the, like, with the line through it, with the strike line through it, highlight over it, click on the strike line through it, just like that. Now this of course is your bullet points and your um, and your uh, numbered list so let's say you have a list right here right so number one number one line I'm just gonna say this number two line number three line and excuse my spelling so now here's what you want to do let's say you want these to be bullet points you put your cursor before the first bullet point you click on this bullet point and all you gotta do is hit backspace hit enter again hit enter again now if you want to break your bullet point just hit enter one more time and twice this may happen where you may see an extra line there so, so backspace I don't know why that no, right, so if you see that happening so if, if you see this happening and you don't want that blank bullet point just click here and then go back to the top and, uh, and click that bullet point button one more time so now that'll make it back to normal now let me just show you this other one. This is just a, a number, an ordered list. So 
here is text here is more and more text obviously it's just example text this will give you a numbered list so when I click on this one now it's a number I click on backspace now it's just numbering the list same thing and notice now it has the blank four so we click here we click the number to undo it alright so now one more thing I want to, a couple few things I want to go over now on this these are pretty self explanatory you know um, this is left aligned so let's say if you want to, if you want your text to be centered it's centered if you want it to be the, to the right it's to the right if you want it to be left here just like Microsoft Word this is indent if you want to indent the text you know this is outdent to basically put it back now a couple things I want to show you though are the following this is obviously your spell check one this one's self explanatory you just hit spell check and it'll go through it just like Microsoft Word but um, here's here's the ones that you um, that don't matter you don't have to worry about this one you don't have to worry about any of these but this is an important one if you're copying and pasting text from Microsoft Word so let's say this text is what I was copying and pasting from Microsoft Word and I want to pa paste it here what you need to do is click on this button here see how it says paste from Word click on this button and now you want to paste your text into here and then put insert if you don't do that then what you're what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a bunch of weird coding involved because Microsoft Word has random code so you have to do that same thing if you're pasting from uh, from anywhere actually if you're pasting from anywhere just always put paste as plain text so click on click on likely if you're doing Microsoft Word click on this one if you're doing just from anywhere else click on paste as plain text that way you don't bring any code from other places that are that's gonna mess up your site structure alright now the final thing I want to show you here there's two things one of them is called a block quote and then the final one are headings alright and headings are really important but I go over that on other video tutorials alright so the first one's called block quote let's say if you um, in this posting right here let's say that you happen to quote someone right you quoted the 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 news, the New York Times. Let's say this is a quote from the New York Times, and you want to make it look cool. Well, what you do is highlight the text that you have quoted, or maybe it's your own quote. It doesn't matter, and or testimonials even. Highlight the text that you want quoted, and then click on this button that says "block quote." Or that actually makes the whole thing block quote. But here's what it does. You see how it made this whole text block quote? Let's unblock quote that. Let's go back here. Here's our text. So now let's say this is the stuff we actually want to be. A quote it. You highlight it, click on block quote as I showed you up here. And now when you click on update, here's what that does. I'm gonna go to hit refresh on the page, and here's what that block quote button does. You see how it makes your text centered in the middle and it puts the graphic background with two quotation marks? That's pretty much what the block quote does. It's good for using testimonials or when you're when you're quoting someone specifically from a from a um, article or something alright now one final thing that you want to pay attention to with this is called headings let's just say you have a long paragraph let's say you have loads of content right let's say you have a long blog post like this and you click on update or you click on you you have it live right you have your long blog post live on your website well Notice how it's going to look. Watch. It's going to look really weird. It's because it's a lot of text, meaning this is a lot of text. It gets confusing. Not confusing. People don't want to read all that text without being able to scan it. So what you want to do is the following. Separate your text by headings, just like in Microsoft Word. So let's say right here I click on enter. See right here where it says paragraph? So I'm going to call this. This is a heading. This is like basically a page divider. You click on your heading or you could highlight it and right here where it says paragraph click on heading 2 or heading 3 don't ever use heading 1 use headings 2 through 6 but always you're going to use heading 2 and 3 heading 2 this is a heading so now let's say that's a heading and you're like okay after that this is a subheading just to divide the content to make it more scannable when I have when I highlight that I click on heading 3 and now I go ahead and click on let's just say now I'm gonna go back here and then make this back a heading two. here is a new paragraph so since it's a new paragraph I might want to make it a heading two because heading two is what you want to use to divide new paragraphs heading three is what you want to use to divide sub paragraphs of something that's part of heading two still so let's say there's a new paragraph 
and now I'm going to go ahead and click update and now that it's updated we want to go here see how it looks see how it's hard to read here or it's hard to scan well when I hit refresh and my headings go into place it's going to make it easier see this is a heading tells me what this paragraph is about this is a subheading tells me what this is about and now we have a new paragraph and then we have a block quote basically it makes our content look easier and everything alright so that's everything you need to know for what these visual buttons do these are of course obvious just to show you if you highlight over text you want to color it something else you select the color let's say you want to make it red now you have red text so um, pretty self-explanatory same thing with this one underline text you want to highlight this underline your text just like Microsoft Word nothing different there so that's everything if you have any questions go to facebook.com forward slash tizish the way you see it spelled here and ask me any questions there alright well good luck and have fun using this part of your site